Today I'm going to do my A136 service on uh, my 2007 Honda Ridgeline. Picked up a gallon of uh, VTM4 differential fluid. Four quarts of uh, Honda, genuine Honda automatic transmission fluid, DW1. And a quart of uh, high poise C gear oil, 80-90. Various funnels, this will probably, might try to find a longer transmission funnel. And a little pump. Um, may use this to, haven't decided if I'm going to just use this on the uh, uh, differential fluid yet or not. I might get a funnel in a tube. Okay, I'm doing the A136 on my Honda Ridgeline. Uh, I've got on the differential, I've got the top plug out. I've got the bottom plug out. Of course, I made a mess. I missed when it came out. It spews out. But uh, I had to put the ratchet on there. Uh, you just take a an extension and a ratchet or a breakover bar and you put it on there and uh, but it's like it's torqued down um, some of the guys in the forum have said that it's like it's torqued down by an 800 pound gorilla so I actually had to take and put the ratchet on it with an extension and then get under there and use my foot to break it loose on both of these uh, the next one I've got to do is I'm going to have to drain the transmission and transfer case. But I'm going to refill the differential. That's probably all I'm going to do for today is the differential, and then tomorrow I'll probably do the transmission. And then the following day I'll probably do the transfer case. I figure I'd do one a day that way I don't get uh, too worn out and too pissed off at it. So uh, I'm just about ready to start refilling the uh, differential. It's uh, been draining for about 45 minutes, went in and ate dinner. And uh, like I said, there's the top plug is between. You see where that, that mount is right there. You got this bushing, that bushing, and that opening. And then the actual, there you can see it there. The actual uh, fill plug is right there. Always undo the fill plug first, or at least that's what I've been told. Not sure why, except that uh, it would suck to drain it. <sighs> and not be able to uh, refill it. <clears throat> if you couldn't get it out, you couldn't drive the car at all. So that's the only reason I can figure, but uh, that and it, it probably drains faster. But uh, anyway, that's what we've got going on so far today. Here's the drain plug and the fill plug for the transmission. This is the fill plug. As you can see, that's uh, where you put your um, ratchet for your extension. It's a 3 8 drive. And this is your magnetic drain plug. As you can see, mine's looking pretty good. Not, not a whole lot of metal in there. Not bad for 70,000. Well, of course, we haven't looked at the transmission ones yet. And here's how you feel it. Hook up a funnel. As you can see, it's kind of going down there slow. It doesn't feel very fast. Fill up your funnel. And I've got the funnel clipped onto the tie down. Yeah, there we go. It's full. If you can see, you can see where it was dripping out. So I pulled the hose here. Now I've got to very carefully pull it out of here so I don't get it on anything inside the trunk. I need to spray this down again with simple green and probably take it to the quarter car wash and give it a good spray off on the bottom.